It's been more than 10 years ago that I entered uh, the foreign ministry back in France. So in France, you're supposed to pass an exam uh, to enter this, uh, this ministry. And uh, I took Arabic for this exam, which is called the Concours d'Orient. And so that's why I've developed this specialty uh, in Arabic and in uh, the Middle East. And I've been since working a lot on this region, but also on many other subjects. And uh, after 10 years, so I'm now very glad to be uh, here uh, in, in New York City as the Council General. So you know in, in a diplomatic career, you have to uh, change posting every three to four years. And, and so this is part of uh, the career that you would change posting, uh, have different types of jobs. So beforehand, I was doing mainly negotiator, negotiation uh, on Middle East issues. I, I was working for our uh, foreign minister as a special advisor on this issue. But I had previously the, the great luck to, to be posted at the United Nations, uh, which you know are based in New York City. And so I loved very much the city, and I really wanted to come back. So when I was proposed this job as Council General uh, in New York City, of course, uh, I felt very grateful and very happy, and uh, I'm now glad to be here. Usually, diplomatic postings are three to four years long, so I hope I will get to stay four years. So as far as consulate is concerned, uh, we have a twofold mission. The first one is, of course, to take care of the French community. So here in New York City, and uh, in my uh, jurisdiction, we have more than 80,000 French citizens living here. And you know that my jurisdiction covers not only New York City, but the whole New York State, and also Connecticut and New Jersey, as well as Bermuda. Um, so this is the first uh, role of the consulate, to take care of them, to protect their interests, to provide them with services such as uh, passports, identity, identity cards, but also consular protections in, in, in case they are uh, detained in, uh, in the U.S. facilities. So that's the first part of the mission. The second one is to promote a friend's interests in the jurisdiction. And so you have the whole scope of this interest from cultural uh, activities to educational uh, activities to uh, business relationship uh, with the city of New York and all uh, the economic environment here. I mean, we were here, uh, we were here with the specificity of, of New York City. New York City is a financial hub, so uh, that is a great priority for us to try to attract financial investors back to Paris, uh, to attract foreign investments. And, uh, and, and of course, uh, New York City is not just you know, the economic capital of the, of the United States, it's also a cultural capital. So it's very important for us to be uh, very present on the cultural scene, uh, to be very visible in the media. Uh, and, and, and for us, being visible in, in New York has a greater impact. I mean, being visible in New York uh, translates to, to, through uh, US media, and so that really builds uh, the perception of France in the United States. So in New York City, um, in New York City we have uh, a team of about 37 to 40 uh, people working daily uh, in, the consul, in the consulate general. The specificity is that we are working a lot on those economic interests, as I mentioned, and we have a political team that is uh, focusing on innovation and promoting uh, the French tech uh, the French tech ecosystem here in New York City. So that's one of the specificity uh, of, uh, of the consulate, and this specificity is, of course, completely aligned with the identity of New York City. So as I said, you know, a, a clear financial focus, innovation focus, media focus, and of course, a great cultural uh, focus of also for our team. My jurisdictions cover uh, New Jersey, Connecticut, and New York State. And uh, since uh, you know we have this diplomatic map that is not always covering only one country, I'm also covering for Bermuda, which is uh, uh, an island, an uh, England-related uh, island.
I said the French collaboration with the, uh, the United States in, in terms of economic relationship is really good. Uh, of course, we have, uh, we have uh, very strong exchanges in terms of exports and imports. Uh, and, uh, and this is a very balanced relationship if you compare to other countries. I mean, if you look at, for instance, job creation on, on both sides of the Atlantic, uh, French companies in the U.S. create more than 500,000 jobs in the U.S. So this is really one of the first uh, foreign employers uh, in the United States. And on the other way around, uh, the U.S. company creates more than uh, 450,000 uh, jobs in France. And so you see that you know, there is a, a great balance in this relationship, which is really mutually beneficial to, to the two countries. So our role here in the United States is to promote and uh, develop even more and reinforce this relationship. Um, and this is actually working pretty well in, in New York City since uh, uh, France is uh, the first foreign investors in the city uh, as of 2016. So the role of, uh, of the consulate is to uh, help and facilitate uh, all the, the electoral process for our citizens. So last year we had, we had presidential and, and legislative elections uh, and so we had to organize polling stations to uh, allow for our 30,000 citizens that were registered uh, for voting at the consulate to vote. So it took us you know, a long time to prepare, more than six months in advance. We had to recruit many volunteers to, uh, to help us uh, organize and set up this polling station, which were most, in most of the case um, set up in the, the French schools. And, and, and then we went uh, through four uh, weekends of, uh, of uh, elections. So first the presidential election and then the legislative election. So that was really an intense, intense work uh, for us and for all the rest of the team of the consulate. So as I said, um, we're trying to provide for the best services to our citizens here. Uh, we try to protect them um, because part of the mandate of a consulate is to provide for consular protection to our, uh, to our uh, citizens. So in case, for instance, they are arrested by the new NYPD, uh, we get a call from the NYPD and, and, and we try to provide them with uh, consular protection. In case they are detained in a U.S. facility, we go and, and visit them regularly uh, to uh, give them uh, you know, information and news from their family and try to help uh, them be in contact with their lawyers, for instance. So we are providing all the services uh, in terms of protection. Uh, also social protection because the life in New York City is not always easy. Uh, we have this dream idea of, uh, you know, coming to New York and, and making it a success. But sometimes for people it's more, it's a little bit harder and they can end up in a very difficult position. So we're here to help them uh, to try to see uh, what kind of services from uh, New York State, from New York City, from the Federal Authority they can, they can uh, benefit from and then sometimes we help them uh, be repatriated to, to France in case of uh, certain case of mental illness and so on and so on. So that's the first part. And then we have also, also uh, administrative uh, services. First, we register our citizens because it's important for us to know uh, who they are, uh, where they live. For instance, in case of a crisis, we need to know uh, where they are in order to better react to, uh, to a crisis, a terrorist attack or even a, you know, weather uh, conditions that would be particular. Uh, and then we provide for them um, the same services that in a way a, a, mayor, a mayor in France uh, would, would provide. So provide them with uh, passports, uh, issuance of uh, identity cards, uh, all those demarches are being facilitated by the consulate here in New York City. So the consulate works very closely with, uh, with two bodies. So we have a cultural services that is uh, uh, also located on the Fifth Avenue. It's a second building. 
And, and we have uh, uh, also an agency that is specialized in uh, promoting tourism. So we work with these two uh, bodies very uh, closely in order to uh, spread the word about French culture uh, and, about, um, and about French tourism. So y you know that we had, unfortunately, to face a series of attacks in France, and, and we had a drop in, in, in tourism from the US, but now it's really picking up again, and I, I believe this year will be really fantastic in terms of American tourism in France. Uh, as, as, as far as, uh, as culture is, is concerned, we have many, many, many uh, events ongoing in New York City. So the French Alliance, Alliance Francaise, uh, is holding a lot of events. Our cultural services are, are uh, promoting culture all over the US, so not only in New York City, but you know, through universities, through education, education in French, uh, through Francophony, uh, through the promotion of our cinema and our literature. Uh, a lot of events are organized all around the US uh, with the help of our cultural services. So we have a great website, so I encourage you to, to go on our website and also uh, to connect on the, the website of the Foreign Ministry because there's plenty of very useful information for those who want to travel to the US, to France. That's good. So the, the American citizen doesn't need a visa to travel uh, for short-term travel uh, to, uh, to France. Uh, but if they want to stay longer or if they want to uh, study in France or if they want to open a business, uh, there's plenty of info uh, they can find on uh, our website. And we're always ready here to help them to facilitate their demarches. France is really an open country. We, we want to uh, attract more uh, foreign students. So foreign students, foreign investors, foreign entrepreneurs are really, really welcome in our country. Um, so for a, a U.S. tourist, it's very easy to go to France because you don't need a visa. So that you know makes everything easier. Uh, but of course, you, you have to. You, you can check the website and see you know what kind of advice you can find. And also, we have plenty of cultural uh, recommendation that you know would make your your stay in France uh, better, uh, more playful, uh, more enjoyable. So that's the first part uh, for a business entrepreneur. So someone who wants to, to to go and set uh, a business business in France or wants to have you know, exchanges with another company if in France, we have a great agency that is, uh, that is dedicated to supporting uh, those kind of exchanges uh, with, between France and the United States. It's called Business France and they really have a, a one-stop you know, shop uh, for all business leaders that want to connect with France, that want to invest in France and they are ready to help all the entrepreneurs and the investors to facilitate all the demarches, whether administrative, uh, whether visa, uh, visa related and so on, uh, to help them set, the, set up their business in France. And we have made very recently a lot of reforms. We have passed a series of reforms that are really here to uh, create a business friendly environment to help those entrepreneurs and investors to come to our country. So I can mention uh, we have plenty of events, so uh, both the cultural services and, and, and the consulate. I can mention some of them. For instance, we will hold a, a tech fest on the 14th of December. Uh, a tech fest is uh, an event we organize regularly with all our uh, tech uh, ecosystem. So all the, the young entrepreneurs uh, from our ecosystem meeting uh, and entrepreneurs from, uh, from the U.S. ecosystem with investors will come to the, the consulate uh, for a party. And uh, we have a very uh, a guest star uh, because Thomas Pesquet, uh, you know, is a very famous French uh, astronaut, will be among us and will make a presentation of his incredible experience in space. So that, that's really uh, an event that uh, we shouldn't miss. <laughs> and we, ha we have many others, but maybe I can I can, uh, I can mention some that are really uh, close to my heart. Uh, we have a night of philosophy that is coming um, by the end of January. Uh, it's organized by the cultural services. It's really a great night uh, of discussion, of intervention uh, by amazing speakers, both from the US and from France. It's all about philosophy, but it's also a reflection about uh, politics, about economics, 
and uh, it, it makes really a great night uh, of ideas that you can share with your neighbors and it's going to uh, be held at the, the public library of Brooklyn. And maybe a last one, uh, uh, we are also very attached to uh, our values and promoting diversity and equality and uh, we will hold with the, uh, the Consulate of Canada and the New York Stock Exchange and the New York the New York uh, Economic Club, an event dedicated to uh, the promotion of women in, uh, in, in corporate leadership. So in corporate boards, how can we empower women for them to be better represented in boards, in, in, in companies? How can we help them uh, go through the hierarchy to at one point be able to, uh, to be a board member? If I had one message, is that France is back. Uh, we have a very attractive country. Sometimes people don't see or don't know what's going on in France, and I would really, uh, you know, encourage your readers to read about France, to to get in touch with our uh, our institution to know what's going on. Because now we have a French tech that is booming. We have uh, investment that are coming back. Our new government is really uh, committed to make. Uh, uh, exchanges uh, with, uh, with the U.S. very, very uh, dynamic, so both economically but on all the other aspects, so culturally speaking and, and, and etc. So please come over, come check uh, what France uh, is becoming. Uh, we are a young, innovative country and we want you to, to come and, and, and see it yourself.